Hey, I'm just going to show you what the experiment is here. Okay, so I, uh, I made this model, and it's pretty accurate according to the Flat Earth. Here's the moon over here, and here's the sun. And I actually used the uh, uh, Flat Earth uh, Wikipedia page to make all the measurements right and everything. So this is a pretty accurate, and I made the size of the sun and moon the right size. Um, so there we go. It's a pretty accurate uh, representation of the Flat Earth. So... Anyway, what I'm going to say here is that um, I want to say one more time that I made the height of the moon exactly right according to the Wikipedia page. And uh, my point is, we all know that you always see the same side of the moon, right? I mean, we know that's true. Um, but according to the flat earth, uh, according to the flat earth, you would see different sides of the moon. So I'm going to make the moon a little bigger just so we can see it. Uh, like, let's suppose the moon's that big. And, uh, so, okay, suppose there's somebody over here. So I'm going to grab a, a figure. Hold on just a minute. I'm going to grab a figure and put him over here. And this maybe assign a texture to him. So there's a guy over here. And then there's also another guy. This guy is over here. So, my point is that they would be seeing different sides of the moon, isn't that right? Because one person is seeing this this side of the moon, the other person is seeing this side of the moon. And according to what we observe in real life, that doesn't happen. I mean, we know that you always see the same side of the moon. And the only way to explain for this is that the moon is really far away. You know what I'm saying? Because we all see the same side of the moon. And if it's far away, then we see the same side of the moon. If it's close, like this, and according to the flat earth, according to the flat earth, we should see different parts of the moon. You know what I'm saying? So, and But we don't see that. Everyone sees a different part of the moon. So I'm not sure what your explanation is for that. Um... But I would like to do an experiment showing, you know, getting someone from two different continents and seeing, seeing if we'll, we'll, we'll get in contact with them and, and, you know, and see if they see a different um, side of the moon, see if, or at least a different phase of the moon. Like, I think all the flat earthers now pretty much agree that the moon is a object in the sky because you can, so, you can so, uh, so clearly see that it is a sphere. Let me show you. Why it's a sphere. Even there it had crescent. Check that out. Crescent. Anyway, I don't know. I'm just off the point. Anyway, I'm going to make another light. And look at that. See that crescent? That's exactly what the moon does. I have a light over here. And it, and that's what spheres do. They create that crescent shape. And to say that the moon isn't a sphere, I think that's pretty ridiculous. I'm, I'm sure most flat earthers agree that the moon definitely is a um, is a sphere because of these these crescent shapes. And uh, so continuing on, what I'm going to say is, is that, okay, this person, let's go and kind of go to this person's view. And let's pretend the light's over here. Alright, so this person sees this phase of the moon. Let's say he's over here and he sees, hey, you know, the moon looks like this. Alright, and then we look at the person over here. He would say, no, the, the, the phase of the moon is like this. And... But that doesn't happen. Everyone sees the same phase of the moon. Because what it really is, is the moon's really far away. You know what I'm saying? And then the sun is also really far away. Let's see, let me grab this, uh, whatever. The sun's also really far away. And everyone, it's really farther away than that, but everyone sees the same phase of the moon. And, it is, and I, I can't uh, portray this in a flat earth. Because uh, you're still going to see a different phase of the moon. But on the real globe Earth, you're going to see the same phase of the moon. Because everyone, the moon is so far away, everyone sees it from the same perspective. Uh, I don't know if uh, it makes sense to you. Let me move it far away so you'll know what I'm talking about. Let's move this really far away. Like this. And then if you look up. I'm sorry, let me create a camera, hold on. Oh, let me. I got to. 
we all look up where's that moon everyone you're they're gonna be looking at it from everyone's gonna see it from the same view you might be rotated like this but everyone sees it from the same exact angle um, so that's just my point my point is that people would be seeing the moon from two different angles and it would create different phases and stuff so I'm not sure how the flat earth community explains that but that's my point so I'll go ahead and stop talking now because I'm